So once you've clicked on the Me tab, it will take you to a different interface. Um, well, same interface, interface, different dashboard. Um, so let's go over what all of these things are. These are your touches. So these are the things that you have found and explored on um, ThingLink that you like. Um, this was a, a really well thought out uh, ThingLink, in my opinion. Um, she has the Black, Hith Black History Month project. She needs the. She has a Google um, form linked here. So you go through and you pick. You know, you put your first and last name in here, and then you pick the person from a list, which is awesome. That links directly into her Google um, uh, Google Forms account, which is awesome. Great idea. Um, and then she has a Google Drive document um, here um, that tells you all about what you're supposed to do, um, the different types of ways that the students can express um, their knowledge. They can do a video, something called an EDU creation, which I haven't heard of, which I'm actually going to look into, or a Google presentation, um, or a thing link. Um, and then all of our sources are down here. So this is, to me, this was a really well thought out um, thing link. So that's why I touched it. Um, the next one is images. And these, this is where all of your thing links will show up. Uh, same with the videos tab. Uh, you can add a YouTube or a Brightcove video and start tagging it. Um, I don't, I haven't done that yet, but I am anxious to get started with that. Uh, this is your channel. This would also be another place that your students would um, be able to access anything that you've created or anything that you want them to see. Uh, people that you follow, your followers, and unfortunately with the uh, free account, you can't see your stats. Um, you know, how many people have viewed yours or if your students are viewing them or uh, anything like that. That's with, um, you get that with an upgraded account. But let's hop into editing. So as you can see, I have my my different dots here for um, documenting Stephen Curry's uh, quick release. So what we did was we went to the edit tab. Oh, let me go back. I'm sorry. There's three uh, or five, yeah, five of these uh, tabs on the side of your um, your thing link. You can go full screen. You can share it from here. You can post it to any social media. You can touch it. Um, you can also edit it. And that's where we want to go is to the edit. So since I already have kind of tabs on here, all you need to do is click inside of any of the tabs. And I mean, it's pretty straightforward with the free account here. Um, you have icon options. Uh, right now, you only have these circles and these letters that you can use. Um, they have, obviously, more if you upgrade. Um, but I think for what most people are doing, this will be enough. Um, and you, you put your link here to whatever media you want to use. You can put the text here that you want to show up with that media. And it's pretty easy from there. So... Uh, I've got a video here that, you know, talks about the secret to Stephen Curry's shot. Um, and, you know, just some individual notes that I've, you know, um, made about his shot. And, yeah, I just, I think this is a, this is a great tool um, for, you know, for your students to express themselves uh, for you to give out assignments as I showed in an example earlier and um, yeah and when you're done uh, editing then well after each tag is completed you want to make sure that you save each tag so after you've put in your information here and after you've put in your media link here and chosen your icon you want to make sure you save that tag so after that you hit save image and there you go and from here 
you can post it to a channel. You can see here, students of Phil, I can post that and then all of my students will uh, get this thing link or get a notification saying that there is a new thing link on, um, on my channel and they can go and check that out. Um, you can also share it from here. You can also share it. Um, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Google+, um, and a bevy of other sites. Uh, if you want to embed this, it gives you the iframe embed code here. Um, and you can just simply copy the code to the clipboard. Or you can um, copy and paste with the link here, which is perfectly fine, which is something I would I would do as well. Um, but yeah, that's... That's pretty much ThingLink. Um, in the next video, we'll get into um, what types of accounts uh, there are and what type of um, account you may want to, to look into uh, for your class or for your school.